What's up, world changers? I'm so excited you tuned in for service today. Hey, I have a question for y'all. What do you want to be when you grow up? Let me hear it. Did I hear it? Firefighter and policeman? Oh shoot, I heard an army man. Y'all, that's a, all great ideas. I love them all. Hey, but you know, none of us really actually knows what we're gonna be when we grow up. You know, but we do know that God will use us in a big way, in a huge way. We may not know it right now, but we know that He'll use us in a big way. Today, I'm gonna be telling the story of. Esther, has any of y'all heard of Esther? Hello, I can't, can okay, I help okay. tell the Say, story? Uh, take a seat, take a seat. <laughs> that was scary. He looks just like me. Okay, he, he can help us today. We are gonna be telling the story of Esther. So Esther and her family, you know, they were not the most popular people in the kingdom, you know? Uh, the father wasn't the king and you know they weren't the most important people there so Esther she was Jewish and in that time uh, her family was sent to a land in Persia uh, they were taken captive and taken there uh, and actually her parents died but her hut or her cousin named Malachi raised her, took care of her. Um, he raised her like his own daughter. He taught her scripture and uh, her, uh, the things of her Jewish family and her Jewish heritage, all that stuff. Uh, Mordecai taught her uh, all this stuff. One day, a man named Xerxes, y'all, that's a crazy name. A man named Xerxes became king. He, you know, he had a temper. I think that's enough. One day, he became an angry and he fired his queen. And why did, why, but why? Because she didn't show up to eat the less the Lord call. Hey, if y'all don't know that, that's Spanish, y'all. It's to a crazy party. So they had a contest to find out this new queen. And Esther won the contest. Mordecai told Esther to not tell anyone that she was Jewish. Esther was not on, the only new person in the kingdom. There was actually a man named Haman. Now Haman, he also got promoted just to the second in command. So here was uh, Xerxes and here was Haman. Haman was number two. You know, Haman though, he was a bully. Uh, have you ever had a bully be mean to you? Have you ever been the bully? Oh, all right. Hey, but he was the bully and he wanted people to bow down to him. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not trying to bow down to anybody. But uh, one person did not. His name was Mordecai. You know, Mordecai, the one who, uh, the one who uh, raised Esther. Yeah, that was Mordecai. He said, uh, 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 I ain't finna bow down to you. So Haman was very mad. He sent um, and wanted to kill all the Jews, all the Jewish people in the town. Unfortunately, King Xerxes agreed to it and sent messengers to get the word out. Kill the Jews, kill the Jews. You know, Mordecai heard the news and he asked Esther, hey, Esther, you know, since you're the queen, uh, can you like talk to the king and ask him to save us? Save your people? Esther knew she would risk her life if she approached the king without permission. Mordecai knew Esther was the queen for a reason. He sent her a letter uh, talking and saying that uh, she was meant to be the queen just for that time, that God had ordained her to be the queen just for that time. So Esther knew Mordecai was right. So all the Jewish people prayed and fasted for three days. After that, she entered King Xerxes' room, throne room, and the king was actually happy to see her. Because she prayed, because she fasted, the king was happy to see her. 
she told the king about Haman's evil decree and the king was furious. And actually later that night, Haman died. King Xerxes created a new order that would save all the Jewish people. Y'all, that's crazy. She went from not being important to uh, not being important to being a queen to um, almost dying but not dying. That y'all, that's crazy. But that brings me to my bottom line. God created you for a purpose. It may not be a thought or fire. It may not be what you're thinking right now, but God created you for a purpose and we can trust him that it is a big purpose and that God will use you um, in a big way in your life. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. God, we thank you for everything you've done for us. We thank you that you created us with purpose, God. We thank you uh, that we can walk in our purpose every day God, you have a purpose for us right now. You, God, you have a purpose for us in the future. God, um, we love you. And in your name we pray. Amen. I can't, I can't do anything better than you. Better than you. Better, better than you. Better than you. Yo, what's up, World Changers? It's Pastor Daniel and Ms. Mads here. We are getting ready to play a game called Copycat. Copycat. That's right, where we're gonna play Copycat. Here's how you play this game. This game is so simple that you can play this at home with your family. Yeah, my family, we did it and it was tons of fun. We had Super a Super easy. Yeah. All you need is some paper, a couple sheets of paper, uh, however many rounds you wanna play. Depends on how many you're gonna get. We got four pieces of paper, two for each person because we are going to be playing two rounds. And it's simple. So basically, Miss Madison is going to draw uh, something on my back and I have to copycat it onto my piece of paper that is on the wall. And whoever does the best at what the paper <laughs> Whoever does the best at copycatting what the other person drew on their back is the winner. It's super simple, that's easy. I'm gonna win. And uh yeah. No. Girls are gonna no. rule. Alright, <laughs> no. so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and start. Um are you ready? Yeah, oh. you need a sharp. I need a sharp. Got my sharpie, here we go. I don't know what to draw. Three, two, one, go! Copycat. Orange was my drawing. 
So these are the copycat ones, and these are the ones on the backs, all right? So Ms. Madge drew a beautiful butterfly, <laughs> and I drew a butterfly that looks like it's uh, pooping you know, <laughs> or something. It has an antenna on its butt. Um, now, I drew a tree, which Ms. Madison also drew a tree, um, and I drew some bad branches, but she drew grass. Um, and so, I think it's pretty obvious that the boys won by a little bit, but we won! Play that boys chance! Boys, 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 That's right, the boys win again. Creativity, we are, we just finished week three. Come back for next week, all right? Cause who knows, maybe somebody else will have two people. Um, I don't know, we'll find out. But that was a good word by Mr. Brad today. We hope that you guys had fun. Uh, remember that game time you can play at your house as well. But like I said, don't miss out. If you missed any of our services, check out our YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Hey, remember we miss you. Love you. Peace.